Hey guys, it's Tina, Soy Sauce Tina, <laughs> the sauciest gal on YouTube. And today, I'm taking these off, they're too much. I will be showing you guys how you could go from this <laughs> no, 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 no. to this. I hope I edited that right. I'll be showing you guys how to get a 4.0 in college, taking a full load of 18 credits. That is the maximum you can take at my school, which is quarter system. I don't know how it works at semester system. But basically, 4.0 rigorous courses, okay? These ain't just like no fluff courses over here. So let's get into it. A little bit about me, my background. I am a student at the University of Washington, go dogs. I'm a STEM major, pursuing a double degree, bachelor's of science, informatics which if you don't know what it is it's basically the intersection of business computer science sociology and psychology very interdisciplinary thinking of minoring in applied math i'll show you guys how to get a 4.0 while juggling life like juggling your social life work family school everything it's been two quarters that i achieved straight 4.0 now i used to have a low gpa like as you guys saw in the thumbnail and in the intro I actually have failed a class before and coming into college like I was like whoa these academics are different you know what I mean I had two jobs and an internship one of them was an internship last quarter and I'm currently working two jobs just listen to me I got you the key also I have it written right here so if you guys see me looking here that is what I am looking at the first step is realize you're in college like just make that fucking realization you know, you're paying money, you're paying for knowledge. It's like so obvious. It's like, yeah, you're in college to get a job or you're in college because your parents want you to. But like, no, realize actually like what you're paying for because college is not cheap. College is expensive. And even if you know you're on financial aid and you're getting it paid for by scholarships or whatever, someone out there is still paying racks on racks on racks for you to be at this institution, for you to learn. And realize how blessed you are to be able to study because there's so many people that don't get the gift of education. This kind of ties into like the motivation and procrastination as well, which will go on to like the other tips that I have. But let's say you have an assignment and it's due like tonight at 11.59. You're like, oh dang it, like I can't go hang out with my friends because I have to do my computer programming assignment or whatever. Just be really mindful. You're like, I have to do this. The word have, like what do you feel? I say, hey, you have to get this done by midnight. Like you just feel dread, right? Like you feel heavy. Like you feel like, oh my God, like I don't wanna do it. Like that's the immediate reaction that you get. I have a hair shook on my face having to do something doesn't really motivate you to do it after you realize like why you're in college you're paying for knowledge right start speaking to yourself in that sense so what i mean is like instead of saying oh i have to do my cs assignment be like i'm so blessed to get to do my cs assignment now i know it sounds corny at first but like it's gonna make the whole experience better like you're not gonna enter the quarter with this energy of like dread like oh my god spring break is over i have to do school now like you won't feel that way i honestly don't feel that way anymore and i don't know if that makes me a nerd or what but <laughs> did get me a 4.0 and that's why you're here so definitely just like sit down with yourself and just like talk to yourself, you know? Make sure your vibration is right beginning the, into the quarter. And now the second thing I have that kind of leads into the beginning of the quarter is build momentum in the beginning of the quarter by taking action, like even the littlest actions, you're gonna set yourself into momentum, into a pace of wanting to do school, like wanting to do well, of wanting to complete your assignments on time, of wanting to study. Like if you just start off on the right foot, the rest of the race is just gonna go so much better how i would apply this is when i get my syllabus syllabi from my classes and when i like get introduced to my teachers and such i would just sit down and then kind of like plan out everything vaguely like roughly like i'm not a planner at all but i do feel like it helps me be less stressed about deadlines for sure so like the big deadlines midterm finals projects mark them get a planner i have one let me show it to you get yourself a planner like i just got this i got it at tj maxx they have really good planners that are like really cute this one says 2021 i didn't really use a planner until recently which is also when i noticed a huge increase like literally a 4.0 in my grade so get a planner plan your stuff especially at the beginning of the quarter because in the first couple of weeks you won't really have any things to do with school so just try and like you know get yourself in that vibe plan out your weeks and just remember that time is your best friend you have 
an abundance of time, okay? Apps like it. Phone reminders are really helpful for planning. That's just my second tip is just make sure you start off on the right foot. Now, I'm not saying like, you know, you gotta go above and beyond because I am a very low effort person. <laughs> that sounds so bad to say, but I try to not have to do a lot. Like this is how to get the 4.0 with the least amount of effort, okay? I'm saying like the first week of school, I don't even be showing up to class sometimes because you know what? Like sitting in a class where you are not learning or being stimulated, like sometimes professors just like to go on tangents. So what I do is I just look at the syllabi, you know? And I'm like, okay, this is the course. This is it. Like this is how I'm gonna finesse this class. Prioritize, prioritize. Like if you got some jobs, make sure, you know, take note of all of that too. So just like try your best to plan your time. I'm saying you don't have to do crazy things like, oh my God, at 11.30, I'm gonna do this. Just make sure that you are aware of what you want to accomplish and how much time that there is to accomplish such things and just remember time is your best friend if you think that you have an abundance of time you do third tip that really really helped me is forming study groups you can reach out to classmates you know sometimes the teacher will put you into groups make use of these people because they are the people that are in your classes like they're there for the same reasons that you are hopefully like to learn or you know to knock it out as a graduation requirement or something they're gonna be your homies like teamwork makes the dream work it's always easier this way to have people in the class that you can work with one it keeps you motivated like y'all can motivate each other it just makes classes more fun like if you can like make jokes about the professor make jokes about things you're learning in class it just helps you like maintain that community it makes you feel supported in a class and now this goes on to my fourth tip reach out to your tas and your professors like they are there to help you you don't even know how many times I have gone to office hours where I was like one of the only people there, if not the only person there. The TA or professor literally just like gave me the answer, but like explained it to me in a way that, you know, enabled me to learn and not get frustrated with myself. Cause I don't know about you, but when I get kind of stumped in a homework, depending on how difficult I perceive it to be or how difficult it actually is, I might just like stop doing homework because I'm like, oh my God, it's so hard. Like I kind of just give up, <laughs> which is not great. I'm definitely working on building my resilience, especially especially during this time, right? What I found is if I go to the TA and I go to the professor and they kind of walk me through the problem, whatever I have, whether it's like a bug in my code, math problem where I don't understand the algorithm, they make me feel so much more calm. And then I walk out with more knowledge and I'm getting my money's worth because, you know, what you're paying for in college is like that access to the people in your classes, including professors and TAs. Cause yeah, you can find this information online. There's so much information online nowadays, but what makes college special is really the people, so. Remember that. Also professors, if they see you put in effort when you are like really struggling, like let's say you need an extension cause you know, you're trying to party or you know, you actually need it for like a legit reason. <laughs> you can ask, like you can ask and they'll be gonna be like, oh my God, look, there's Tina, you know, she was so, diligent or whatever. I'm a plugger with this extension. So they know what's up. They got your back. There are people too. And you know, think about it. Like what are the types of people that go into academia? They want to help you for the most part, right? Yeah. Just like see them as friendly people and it's all about perception. So this goes on to my next tip. I don't even know what number I am on anymore. Like six, something, I don't know. Definitely develop strategies for every class. Now that you're kind of settled into the quarter, you know, this is when I said like, don't gotta plan it too much because you never really know like what the next coming weeks are gonna bring. Even though a professor might have a really detailed syllabus, there's always things that come up, you know, your boss, like, oh, can you work extra hours or something? So I try not to plan too vigorously because one, it's a waste of time. Not everything's gonna go off to plan and then two i do it so that i don't beat myself up if i'm like off schedule because life happens you're gonna have your off days take a breather and then realize okay now that i'm kind of settled into the quarter develop strategies for every class the path to getting a 4.0 in every class is very different depending on whether it's project-based course a test-based course assignments based course and also depending on if it's like you know collaborative so like if your professor wants you to work with people for these final projects or if it's on your own like individual be very mindful in class and what I mean by that is just be very aware like instead of just like logging on to zoom and just like you know scrolling through Amazon that's gross just be like hmm what do I have to focus on in order to make sure that I hit 4.0 like if it's a group based course make sure that you know your group mates they're like carrying the team as well like it's not just you carrying this big group project and then if it's individual like figure out a study plan for yourself personally when it comes to groups like I've actually had really good experiences with groups and I feel like it's it's just based on communication. Like if someone is not carrying their part of the work, you gotta like tell them ASAP. 
Because if you just let it, you know, slide, you're like, oh, maybe they'll pick up the slack next week. They're not gonna do that. You gotta talk to them. Like, hey, girl, I need you to finish your part. And then if it's individual, you can do that to yourself. Like, hey, girl, I need you to finish your part. Individual is, I think, easier to, I mean, easier depending on how well you communicate with yourself. Now, I'm gonna get a little spiritual here, but you know, into mindset and mindfulness because this kind of goes back to that motivation, procrastination, the self discipline. Sometimes you just gotta do it. It's hard, but it's only hard when you first start i don't know how many of you guys run i started running in quarantine and i feel really proud of myself starting is always the hardest because you're like dreading it you're like oh my god i have to do this and it goes back to what i said at the beginning about changing the way that you think of school like don't think of it as like oh i have to do this like you're bound to it no be like i choose to do this i get to do this like i am you know making my family proud i'm making myself proud i am accomplishing my dreams whatever it is whether you want to be a nurse an engineer a doctor a lawyer you are getting to where you want to be these assignments however minuscule are all part of your journey to get there and so what do you want to do you want to excel you want to do it with success with grace see school as something almost like fun like a game because it is it is a game but yeah a lot of people like they think about this thing where they're like i have to find motivation but honestly like i've spent so much time like trying to find motivation when in reality i could have just started it and finished it in that time you know what i mean and so a rule i like for myself is five four three two one so like if i'm in bed or something or if i'm like not really trying to start an assignment i'm just gonna be like i'm gonna start it in five four three two one and you just have to start keep thinking to yourself if i can do this for 30 seconds i can keep doing it. i'm gonna just do it for 30 seconds and see where it takes me and so you're working on it you're working on it and then after 30 seconds you feel like wait that was actually so easy let me just finish this like it just feels good now that you don't have this big thing looming over your head procrastination where it comes from is it's really fear i mean i still struggle with it what i found is just action action creates more action so if you can even sit down at your computer be like i'm gonna read one page you're just gonna find yourself finding that momentum to finish the assignment the last tip that i would give is take breaks and switch up your studying now i feel like this is kind of basic but it's something that a lot of people don't really realize because you're gonna be in these same classes for like 10 to like 15 weeks 12 i don't know whatever semester is. you don't want to get bored i know that was something that i struggled with before like you can have a study group and you guys can still do the same thing every week it's gonna get boring make it something fun like invite something fun fresh into your studying for me i like to switch it up and i think novelty is the spice of life like you want to be able to be flexible and have adaptability and i think those are also two really really important traits to have in life outside of school school definitely teaches you some good life skills if you know how to apply them so yeah switch up your studying keep things fresh and novel and this is where you know those study groups and you know maybe even professors are going to come in because like find really creative ways to study like right now it's really sunny you can study outside there's different modes of studying like maybe one day you're just going to do all your reading assignments all your like physical book assignments and the next day you're going to do all like your computer coding assignments whatever breaks also look different for different people you guys can try out the pomodoro technique i'm gonna also link like a ton of resources below that I feel like helps me. And yeah, that kind of concludes my video for how you can get a 4.0, taking hard courses. I hope to do more of these videos. This was kind of like a summary. I can definitely go more into depth about things that I talked about. I wish you guys best of luck in your studying. And remember, have fun, like chill. Don't take it too seriously. We're all just here to live life. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Also, hoping to do a ton of videos, hoping to be consistent on this channel, like really hoping to grow this channel. If you guys have like any questions about college, UW, life, definitely hit my comments below. Good luck. I wish all of you a 4.0.